first of all, we have to define what is complex fracture. Mostly, we say this is multi-fragmentary, or in, we can say there are so many pieces. And that pieces of the fracture evolve into the very important position, like the joint surface. For example, fracture around the knee, which evolve into the joint surface. Fracture at the pelvis, fracture which involve the acetabulum surface, and also fracture which involve the shoulder. So all of these examples are complex fracture. Not every surgeon can treat it well, but the surgeons who operate this kind of fracture to reduce the fracture to fix with the implants should be the person who has been well trained and has a lot of cases, has operated these kind of cases continuously. In our hospital, we have a policy for the patient safety and efficiency to treat the patient. Not all surgeons can operate anything. If we have a patient who has fracture of the shoulder, we have the shoulder expert to operate. And in the past five years, we operate 300 cases. With these policies, we will be confident that patients who operate by these experts will have very low complication and very good results. Not all fractures has to be treated with surgery. Many of the fractures you don't have to operate. You can use the slab, you can use the cast, you can even do arm sling. But some fracture we need operation. For example, if the fracture is the fracture which involved into the joint surface and displaced, or the fracture even in the forearm, fracture in the femur or in the tibia which is displaced, and there are options to treat. For example, in the past, for the fracture of the femur, we have to do long incision. And this will cause blood loss, low urine rate, or even infection. Nowadays, we have minimally invasive technique to put the plate in, to put the nail in, and you have less blood loss, low rate of infection, and permissible union rate. To verify that the fracture has been reduced well and the implants have been in good place, we need a very high resolution image intensifier machine. And what we use here is the intraoperative 3D imaging to improve surgical outcome while promoting patient safety. Artist Vino is one of the intraoperative imaging. This is a robotic C arm imaging that can provide really clear and good two-dimensional image. Not only two-dimensional image, but also three-dimension or city-like imaging. With city-like imaging, it can provide better visualization of the burning structure, assess the quality of reduction, and verify the implant position. The high-quality and precise imaging can ensure the quality of operation while patients still in the operating theater. That means it can reduce the re operation rate due to the wrong reduction or wrong implant position. The other benefit of the artist phenol is to reduce the radiation exposure to the patient and the team as it can memorize the required position automatically. Artist phenol can be used in other fields such as intervention, cardiovascular surgery, vascular surgery, spine surgery or neurosurgery.